Hi, everyone. Happy Friday and welcome back to Nalo's Thrift Talk. Thank you so much to everyone in the chat for sticking around and joining us at our last minute slight change of time plans. Um, May, I know you had a eventful day at the doctor's. So yes, I did. I'm I still so have my bracelet on. So <laughs> I'm so glad that that is is done for you and we can hang out a little yeah. bit now. So really thankful. And today we have a super fun mystery thrift haul. So we thought that since we've been talking a lot about sourcing online and some of the different things we've been trying lately, we would sort of come with unexpected, maybe expected sourcing. And um, Renee, I know you've done some sourcing that I don't even know all the details about yet. So it will be a surprise to me as well. So super excited. Yes. So yeah, so um, we are excited. And uh, did you introduce us? I'm like my brain. No, I did okay. not. So yeah, so I'm Nay. And I'm Lola. And yeah, so for those of you who don't watch every week or haven't watched us, we are resellers, but we also thrift for our own enjoyment for uh, sustainability, environmental state sustainability, um, you know, just um, sentimentality and because it's so much so unique and fun and, you know, you can find stuff in the thrift store that you just can't find anywhere else. So absolutely. Yeah. It's so much more fun to shop from a thrift store rack of all kinds of unexpected things and to go into a big store and buy, you know, whatever everyone else is buying. So completely agree. So, um, we have our usual segments. Yes. So I, uh, what are you wearing Lola? Okay. I am wearing, this is one of my, uh, many hold on, I'm trying to get, there we go. There we go. I think this is one that I did not share on our scarf episode, actually. And it is a, it's just a cheap, it's not silk. I think it has, actually has hand-rolled edges, but it's definitely some sort of like poly blend. Um, and I got it for a pound at a, um, at a vendor at Spitalfields Market in London. So this is one of oh, my nice. sort of like souvenir um, pieces from when I lived in London and just honestly, like my hair is not behaving today. So it's one of those things I throw on. <laughs> on a bad hair day but uh it's always fun. i love scarves for that yeah totally and then this is a vintage ll bean flannel that was it's made in the usa it's definitely one of those uh you know kind of things that an ll bean uh, aficionado would seek out secondhand because it's one of the brands that the you know older is just made better than it is now and this yeah. you know, back from the era when they would literally guarantee everything for life. And you can just feel like this thing will last forever. So it's one of my, you know, cozy fall shirts that um, just feels like a hug and um, yeah. always like to pull it out and start awesome. chilly. Very cool. And I am wearing, um, so it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month mm -hmm. and I just went through a whole battery of, Fun tests, uh, including today, which I'll talk about in a minute. But whenever I find anything at the thrift store that is breast cancer related, I will pick it up. So this is a Vikings breast cancer jersey. And I'm not a, necessarily a Vikings fan, but, you know, whenever I find, like, cool pink mm -hmm. breast cancer supportive things like this, you know, I'll pick them up and wear them. So I think I paid, like, $3.99 or $4.99 for it. So that's... What I am wearing today, and I have a nice hospital bracelet, <laughs> so, which is not thrifted. I uh, didn't it's have probably time. quite a bit more expensive than anything. Just you get got there. in from my tests and didn't get a chance to clip it off yet. So, um, so what is uh, your? Pen? We have. What's that? What is your? Oh, mannequin? my mannequin. That's right. What is my mannequin wearing? So my mannequin, yeah, that's, so I put, she is wearing this gorgeous 70s maxi dress. It is sparkly and glitzy and lined, and I'm going to show you the label. So this came from uh, from thrift to you which we talked about a couple weeks ago mm -hmm. we, when we did a haul, and they are awesome. Their customer service is cool. So I grabbed this up when I saw it. Uh, it was, I knew it was, you know, very vintage. It had the union label, 
And so I grabbed it up really fast and it is in perfect condition. It is 70s and I'll show you the, um, let me show you the, um, how do I get back to my, sorry. Oh, I know I have to do this one, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, sorry. Um, so I have the, no, that's not it. Um, shoot. There it is, okay. This is the label that's in it. It is a union label, as you can see. And here's a close up of the other tag that's in it. So there, it's like the, the paper tags are in remarkably decent condition considering the age of it. So, yeah, for sure. and then this is the detail of the, of the center of it, um, of the waste area where you can see that the rhinestones are in perfect condition and it's got like that, that glitzy kind of metallic um, woven fabric, you know, so really pretty dress. So, so pretty. That, that would be such a great like New Year's Eve dress or holiday yeah, Eve so, dress. Of course, that's probably not really going to be happening that much this year, but. True. So I have not listed it yet, but um, when I do, I'm probably going to put it up for, you know, pretty high, a pretty high price. So I would for sure. Yeah. And I'm not sure what plot probably. I would I'm do thinking eBay and Etsy. Um, yeah. Probably also Depop, but you know, that's, it's not quite the era that's as popular on Depop. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, so. yep. Yep. Yeah. So, um, so we also have our thrifted. Oh, let me get the, here we go. Okay. Thrifted home decor items of the week. So, so my item is also one of my recent thrift haul items. So it's sort of double counts for mm -hmm. double. I got this book at um, Shop Goodwill and it is a beautiful art book, um, art by the artist Jacob Lawrence, who's, who was a, a black artist um, who depicted Harlem and um, the great migration in the 20th century. And um he passed away while this book was being put together. I think it was like around the year 2000. So it's not super recent anymore. Um, but so it's just really, it's like beautiful to look through and see this as part of his like blast, blasting legacy. So I'd been wanting a copy of that book for a while and um, I just happened to find one on Shop Goodwill that was a... Um, but from a seller that had a couple other items I was interested in. So I bid on a whole bunch of things and I only won two of them. It was this book and one other item that I will share in a little bit. Um, but it's great. I love books like this because I enjoy reading them, but then they also just make beautiful kind of decor items. And it's always nice to Absolutely. have, you know, beautiful art books out. And then when people come over, if they're, you know, wanting to browse through something, they get to learn about different artists that I think, you know, people should know about. So, yes, I agree. That's awesome. So. Heather says this year PJs for New Year's Eve. I agree. That was how I rung in 2020. And I kind of regret that now because if I had known, I probably would have gotten all dressed up and gone out. But it's also yeah. a little nice to have an excuse to not be doing that this year. So. Very true. Yeah, it's, you know, this, I think it's going to be that year where it's going to be different like everything else. Mm -hmm. um, so I have Actually, this was one of the things I was going to show in the thrift haul. And as usual, I forgot my home decor item. So, <laughs> so I'm going to show her. So this is a Build-A-Bear. But what's cool about this Build-A-Bear, so I got a, a bags, and I'll talk about this in our haul. I got bags at the thrift store of stuff plush for $1.99, big bag. And I'll show you one of them in a minute. Uh, so this, she came in one of the bags. She is Build-A-Bear, which, you know, in itself, Build-A-Bear isn't worth a ton anymore. But she has this whole... Hello Kitty ensemble. So that is so cute. Yeah. So it's super cute. I love Hello Kitty. So I think she might be worth a little more, if not, you know, for the bear itself, but the clothes. So it's got the whole outfit on. So, mm -hmm. so that is pretty cute. So I'm going to, I haven't looked her up yet. I haven't looked up, but I'm, I'm imagining that, you know, I might be able to get 15 to 20 with the, with the clothing. So, and I wonder if you'd get more if you um, sold the clothing separately. 
You know, I don't know. I have to look into that. I, I have heard some people do say that the clothing itself, you know, does better than mm -hmm. theirs do, but I'm not sure. So I will see about that. That is a possibility though. And I do want to talk a little bit about, so it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so every week, every show this month, I will be showing some, um, just some, some tips, some breast cancer facts, things like that, because I do want to spread awareness to everyone. So this, so this week I have, um, I just want to tell everybody to schedule a mammogram because early detection does save lives. And as you may be able to guess, and I do, if you have any history of cancer, even if I was 38 when I was diagnosed and I did have a history. I, there was a history of breast cancer in my family, but not a huge history. It was more uh, prostate cancer on my dad's side. And I did not know that that was directly related to breast cancer. So just know that mm -hmm. other types of cancer in your family can um, be very, very um, related to breast cancer. So I should have been screened starting in my 20s, my geneticist said, and I did not know that. So I had my first and last ever mammogram when I was 38 and I was diagnosed then and now I don't ever have to have a mammogram again because I had a double mastectomy so I have no breast tissue so um but I have to have a lot of other tests which you don't want to do so get your mammograms um early detection is the best protection and so today I had a full body I've had a brain MRI I've had because they're checking my whole body for cancer so um, I had a brain MRI, I had a colonoscopy with biopsies earlier in the week, and this morning I had, I went to get my full body CT where I had to drink this nasty stuff, and they put an IV in my hand, and they had to inject me with um, contrast dye, and then I had to get injected with a radioactive isotope because I also had to have a bone scan um, this afternoon, and what I didn't know why we're delayed today is that there were three hours, I'd wait three hours between the two scans. So I kind of messed up the scheduling there. So um, had to push back the time, but I'm all done. And hopefully next week I will get news that I am still cancer free. So fingers crossed everyone. Yeah, but um, you know, if you do get, if you do get your mammograms and early detection, uh, you might be able to avoid what I'm going through. So uh, keep that in mind for all of you who are like, uh, eh, I'll put it off or I don't want to get my mammogram. Believe me, you won't want to get these tests. Mammogram is much easier. So it does sound kind of cool to have your bones be like radioactive for, you know, a little while. Uh, yeah. It kind of freaked me out. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know, like all the idea that. And then they're like, drink like 32 ounces of water when you go home to flush all that stuff out of you. And I'm like, Oh, great. That's, that's, you know, I see you wonder about what they're putting in you, but um, but the scan itself, the bone scan itself was actually kind of relaxing. They played music and I just laid there and, you know, so it wasn't <laughs> that, that, that part wasn't so bad. It was all the injections and the, yeah. That did not so happen. anyway, um, next week on our agenda, uh, next Friday, the 16th, we'll be back at our usual time, which is 1 PM Eastern, 10 AM Pacific. And that we'll be talking about athleisure. So athleisure is all like, um, Lululemon, um, you, you might want to, you might think of that brand, but there's a lot of other brands and there's some mm -hmm. holy grails and bolos that you will want to keep your eyes out for. So we'll be talking about that. And thank you for everyone who has, um, you know, given me their thoughts and prayers and positive vibes. And yes, so discounters, yes, absolutely. Men can get breast cancer as well. And I have I did talk about that last week. So um, just know that, that if you are a man with uh, a mom, a sister, an aunt, you know, breast cancer in your family, it can also affect you. So you do need to stay vigilant as well because men can get it. I've been to breast cancer conferences and all, and there are men there who are breast cancer victims too. More common with women, but can happen. And, um, ah, well, that's good. I'm glad Angelique that you're also doing that. And, uh, yeah, so <laughs> it is good, Heather, that they can do it all and, and tax. So I will get hopefully a clean bill of health. And um, so also, and I've talked about this before, 
But I just wanted to mention again that um, I am doing, I am a graphic designer and I'm doing packages for online sellers. So if you have an eBay store and you want your banner and logo designed or you need business cards or anything else, even if you have your own website and you need some help, um, I am offering packages and I can do a la carte. I can customize the packages. So, and if you need uh, two store, like if, let's say you want your eBay store designed and then you want your Etsy store done as well. I will, if you buy one package, I'll do the second one for 25% off. So these are really good deals. I am offering huge discounts. And so if anyone's interested, please let me know. And I guess we're ready now for yeah. our... Oh. Okay, you should probably start because I think you do have more stuff than I do today. I think I definitely have more. Um, <laughs> I kind of have gone a little crazy. So I went, so here's the deal. So as far as it being a mystery, so I went to my, um, I went, I went thrifting in person for the first time since probably late February. So it was a very long time. I did, I did talk about this a little bit last week. I didn't feel comfortable because there was a line out. There was a line outside because not because there were too many people, but because they were only letting like twenty five percent of full capacity, you know, usual in. They were only letting a certain number in. So when people would leave, they would let more in. And there was somebody standing at the door counting. There was somebody that was sanitizing everything. They were doing announcements over the loudspeaker to stay six feet apart to you know to wear your mask. So uh, everybody was wearing a mask. They had hand sanitizer around. So I did feel you know relatively safe. Uh, I know it is a risk, but I did get, um, I did, it was really nice to actually thrift in person again. And I did get some, did find some goodies. Now the thrift store I went to was very expensive. I actually was on the way back from my COVID test because um, I had to get the COVID test for the colonoscopy. So that was a whole nother thing. And um, I stopped there. I had to go buy it and I was like, oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. But you know, my car just kind of ended up in the parking lot. So they were very, very expensive for most things, but there were some treasures there. Um, there was St. John. There were so many designer labels there, but they were priced like insane. Like it was plentiful too. Like they had an actual Lily Pulitzer section started at like $25 and up. Um, there was a St. John, pretty much a St. John section started at like $90 and up. Um, so, you know, basically it was like resale prices. So, uh, but they did miss a lot of stuff and there was stuff that I did find. So I will share with you what I found. So is this a uh, like a independent kind of thrift store not it is thing. kind of well they do have a couple it's it's independent to the area they have a couple locations mm -hmm. i looked them up they do have a couple couple locations but it's pretty much like um and it is it's not a for pro it's a it's pretty much a it's not a for-profit like in the sense it's kind of like goodwill where they um help like you know jobs and stuff like that but they're not like really it's not going to like charity or anything. So not like Philly aid script or something where it exactly. So, and I wouldn't mind as much. So, yeah. but anyway, um, so I will share, um, let's see. The first thing is I also have some things from shop goodwill and, um, from thrift to you. So the first thing I got Lola, which you'll love is they had a bunch of yarn and most of it was acrylic, but I did <laughs> find in a bag, for four ninety nine, wow, those four were bundled together, and they are. So it's called Shearer's yarn. It's two ply wool. And I don't know that yarn. It sounds like um like a it's local from New bar. Hampshire. It's um mm -hmm. from War Walpole, New Hampshire, and I have um. You can see it's nice, high quality mm -hmm. wool. So I am going to lot these four together, yeah, and I'm not sure yet. I have to kind of do a little research. But what do you think, Lula? for the four i would say like 30 35 probably um yeah i was thinking like 40 with best offer yeah yeah that's kind of what that's probably what i would list it for and expect 30 to 35 yeah so that was a good find for five bucks and then i found in the they've missed in the wallet section in with all of the um you know, $25 coach wallets that they had priced and stuff. I found this and that was marked $2.99. And it was actually, it is Isabella Fiore. So Ooh. yeah, so they missed that one. So, so I grabbed that. So this is, a, it's, it's a nice little um, like clutch wallet kind of mm. thing. So I'll probably get, you know, I may be able to get 30 bucks for that. So we'll see. That's pretty. 
Yeah. So, and then this I did pay up for. I paid 20 bucks for it. And I realized when I got it home that it is missing the long strap, but it's brand new. The It's the Bradford Exchange, but I actually looked up this bag and it is worth about 50 to 60 bucks. So I did spend 20, but I will definitely, you know, make a decent profit. It is missing the strap, but I, I, I still think I might be able to get 50 for it because it is brand new. You know, I've noticed more lately is that it's easier to find uh, stores selling replacement straps. Yeah. And I don't think it's a deal breaker. I think, I think no. you're right that it's not really um, a deal breaker for the long strap because you, you can find them. You can replace it. Or easy. switch out with one you already have. There's yeah, it hooks right on. So it's not mm -hmm. like it's a tie. It would be attached to that. Yeah. So, um, so that wasn't too bad. And then I'll show one more. So this is, this guy is within one of the plush bags. He's a moose. Oh he's my gosh, so cute. Super cute. And he's 2002. The brand is called Wish Pets. And I looked him up and I should be able to get about 25 bucks for him. So he is oh. not going, he's not going to my kids. Um, I'll probably <laughs> put him up for like $29.99. And uh, they did get a bunch of, a bunch of plush, but this is one that I am going to sell. So, and what do you have, Lola? Okay. So this was the other item I got from uh, Shop Goodwill. And I think it came from Tennessee and I noticed that they actually have their own like um, actual like branded boxes, which I don't think I'd ever gotten before. Really? Yeah. Isn't that funny? Wow. That's interesting. Yeah. It was like super. Um, yeah, I've never seen that before. Super professional looking. Um, and I did notice that they had quite a bit of um, diversity and just interesting items listed online. So I wonder if they're sort of ramping up their online presence and listing more than they did before. Um, so I got the book and then I also got this camera, which it's called the, it's called like the brick colloquially as it looks, oh. it is shaped like a brick. It is. It does kind of look like, yeah, it's from, you know, it's, I think it's from the fifties or sixties. Um, and this one, I, it caught my eye particularly because it still had a really nice intact leather case. It is yeah, really that's a nice cover. Yeah. Missing the um the strap, just like your purse, but I'm keeping it for myself. So, you know, I'm not as concerned about it. And resale, these range like all over the place. There are some that were, you know, in beat up condition without the case listed for five to ten bucks. And then there's some that were like refurbished and tested and working and they're above a hundred dollars. So I think I paid like 15 for this one. So it was definitely worth the risk um, th that it may not work because if it doesn't work, it's decorative for me. And I will try to, to use it, and, um, clean it up and figure out if I can still shoot with it. Um, so that will be a fun project for me. And, you know, it's one of those things where I hope that it, you know, hope that it's still functional, but it, worse comes to worse. It just goes in my collection on the shelf and I enjoy it anyway. So those were two things I bought for myself, not for, not for flipping. Um, do you want to do one more item? Cool. I have one, I have one more shop. Um, yeah, you can do another. Okay. So this is like an item for myself to keep. I'm not reselling it, although I could um, and make a profit, but it's sort of a tool. So I mentioned this in our yarn episode. I've been wanting one of these for a long time. This is a yarn, um, yardage measure measuring tool so you you string the yarn through here and wind it into a ball and this will tell you how many yards you have so they're not cheap this one new i think is like 130 i got it on shop goodwill for like 45 dollars. i've bid on a number of these and they always get bid up so that was the first time i'd been able to get one that wasn't like astronomically expensive but these are useful if you're selling yarn because if you have incomplete skeins, you can actually measure how much there is and then include that in your listing. Okay. So I've been wanting one just for myself, but then also, you know, a bunch of times when I've been listing yarn to resell, I've been wanting, I've been wishing I could give a better um, measurement of how much is there. So this will be really nice for that. And I nice. If you're selling a lot of yarn, um, this can be a useful tool to have if you happen to find one that's inexpensive. 
I could also probably flip it on eBay and sell that's what I was going to ask you for like 80 to $90. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So it's basically brand new. It has come, it came with the box. It came with the instructions, like everything's here. And, um, and they're just, they they hold their value. They're very specialized tools. So obviously not everyone's looking for them, but the people who are know what they're worth. So. Yeah. So Jess has a comment about your camera. So yeah. Definitely. Decor. Yeah. I think I mentioned that in one of our episodes that yeah. it's like um, that cameras that aren't working are more popular right now, just because people are looking for like cool stuff to put on their shelves while they're on zoom in meetings and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I definitely, I, I love collecting cameras. I pick them up pretty much whenever I find them because worst case scenario, they're still worth something as decor. So. Yeah. And you were mentioning too, that um, they do well on Depop too, which yeah. I didn't know. Yep. No. Cause I had those two Kodak instant cameras that I am going to put on Depop too. Yeah, so. I just sold one on Depop recently. I mean, it wasn't super expensive. It was literally just like a toy camera. Um, I think I got it for a dollar at a um, flea market a long time ago and sold it for 15, like no offer, just someone bought it. So. so I won this on Shop Goodwill and I won it for a dollar, but it was one of those deals where by the time, you know, I paid shipping and handling, I paid about 16 bucks for it, which was more than I probably would have spent if I had, but you always have to look at the fine print. However, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. It turned out to be pretty large. So it is the brand is Sharif, which is a, it was very popular in the eighties. So this is an eighties vintage eighties bag and it's really big. So I might actually keep this for myself because I kind of like it. It's kind of fun, but it is in great condition. So I think it does have um, some ink on the inside, but it's got a leather interior and yeah, so I, I don't know. I might, you know, I might I might try to flip it for like 30 bucks, 25, 30, but I might keep it. I'm not sure. But um, I feel like a little bit of ink on the inside. You could always try to remove it, but it's also something that most people. Yeah, I don't mind the ink on the inside. Yeah, it's not. It's in pretty good condition. And it does actually have a little bit of a rainbow in the ribbon there. So. Oh, pretty. A little reminiscent of pride. So kind of cool. Yeah. And we'll go through it. So this I also paid up for at the thrift store. I did pay 30 bucks for this purse, which was the most I spent on any of the items there. Or no, I'm sorry, I spent $39.99. That was the most I spent. It was 40 bucks for this bag. However, I looked up this particular Kate Spade bag, and we did have an episode on Kate Spade. Mm -hmm. And it is worth actually um new, like I mean, I've seen some of them go for like $250. But this, um, I will easily get, I'll probably get like 150 or so on yeah. Hotmark. Yeah. So That's it's beautiful. really good condition. It's got the, the braided leather. Um, this hobo style is pretty popular. So, and it is not an outlet bag, as you can see. Mm -hmm. And the interior is leather. So what do you think, Lola? Would you have paid up 40 bucks for this bag? Oh, yeah, no question. Yeah, exactly. I looked at, they had so, oh my God, there were so many bags there that if I had had more time, like you should see, there's just such an abundance of brand items because they, their prices are so high. Right. So, you know, like there's just so plentiful. All the coaches are marked like 30, 40, 50, 60, like all the coaches. So this is among all of those. And I know there were some other really good, I'm sure there's some other treasures. So this is an example of something that, you know, I don't mind paying up for mm -hmm. a little bit, but cause I know I'm going to make um, a really good profit uh, on this bag. So it's a gorgeous Kate Spade it's bag. Such so. a beautiful classic design. I definitely yeah. pay up for that. Uh, another bag that I got there was this, if you've heard of uh, Perlina, it was popular. This is from the eighties and it's these backpacks, these, these little, uh, Perlina sling bags are are actually pretty popular. If you look on Poshmark, yeah, are, um, some of them are on Etsy. Um, super so, in right now. What's that? Those are super in right now. The like, yeah, sling, exactly like, these sling bags. So this yeah. was also one that did not get get marked up. They did not know what it was, and it's leather. It's like supple leather too. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was marked seven ninety nine. So I grabbed that up and. I will easily, some of them are going for, um, you know, like 50, 60 bucks. So, um, 
I think I should get up there for this. Oh it's, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So, and the bottom, it's really cool because the bottom actually opens and it's got like a mirror in it and little organizer area. So yeah, so that was a great, that was another hidden treasure for $7.99. So this is what the plush bags look like there. I did not open this one. I was saving it for the haul. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So $1.99. And they had like tons of them. So this, that's what I mean. It was like polar opposite. Like they had these crazy expensive things and then they have like these ridiculously cheap things. So I found, so I know already know there's like some Kohl's cares in here, which um, this is one of them. Not going to be worth much because they're only five bucks in Kohl's to oh. begin with. But I might, I'll either give them to my kids or lot them up because there's a Dumbo mm -hmm. and a Simba. This is um, this is the guy from Pets. Um, oh my gosh, he's so cute! Yeah, the Secret Life of Pets. So yeah. I'm not sure what he's going to be worth because obviously I haven't looked these up yet because I'm just opening it. But I do think that he's going to be probably somewhat of winner. The reason I picked up this bag was because I saw this, which is a TCNJ oh. line, and I actually graduated from TCNJ, so. That is my my alma mater, so um, so I had to grab him. So I will be keeping him as home decor. So <laughs> and I'm not sure what this one is. This bear is but tag on it. Hmm. Let's see a tag on him. Got to be something. I don't know. Cute little bear. It looks like he's something though, like yeah, like a very classic, like jointed, right? He's not jointed. Oh, he's not jointed. No, not jointed, but he is pretty cute though. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'll have to I'll have to take the the clothes off and make sure there's no. This is a gun bear. Another just classic bear. Mm -hmm. uh, I think some of the classic gun bears though do okay. So let's see. It's in good condition. And then this one, I think it might be the winner of the bunch. It is, so the brand is Kelly Toy, which sounds vaguely familiar to me, but I'm not sure. It's a horse. So I think the horse is gonna do pretty well because horses yeah. in general usually do. So I'm gonna imagine that this one will probably be the winner of the bunch. And then this will go to one of my kids. It's just a Star Wars like oh, cute. thing, but yeah. So that wasn't a bad bag for $1.99. No. I mean, you can't really go wrong with one of those because exactly. even if you, you get a few bucks for each one, you'll yeah. get your money back. Yep. So, um, and these were in one of the other bags. This monkey was one. That's so cute. Yeah, he's, and he's worth a little bit, like, you know, like 20 bucks. And then this is a gun, another gunned bear. Um, and I looked him up and he's, he's worth about 20, 20 20-ish too. So, you know, not bad for when you're dealing with a dollar ninety-nine. Yeah, for sure. Okay. So my next of my haul. Speaking of your dress, ah. is from Thrift You. Yes. So I actually ordered this right before our last haul and was hoping to be able to share it then, but it didn't arrive in time. It arrived like later that day. So um, not thrift to use fault at all. Their customer service is awesome as we've mentioned a couple of times, just the way it worked out. Um, and I've been waiting to unbox it. So I actually haven't opened it. In I know, I don't know how you had that kind of willpower. I don't know how I did either. But just real quick, I wanted to mention, cause uh, Heather was asking in the chat what the um, yarn, the yarn tool um, mm -hmm. was made by. It's called The Yarn Meter by Nancy's Knit Knacks. Um, oh, I love that name. Yeah. Isn't that the best name? Mm -hmm. so there, there aren't really like different brands that make them. This is the one that's the the only one I've really seen like commercially available. So Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't even know if I remember everything I got in here. This was like, um, is that loft or something? No? I think it has a yeah. name on it. If I remember correctly, this was just like a really nice lightweight kind of kimono. Oh yeah. That um, should do well. Yeah. So it was reminded me of what we were talking about, like the work from home kind of, um, yep, definitely kind of fashion. Plus it's one size fits all. So it makes it easier to, uh, you know, to appeal to a large um, 
larger group of buyers say one size fits most, but it looks like a fairly comfortable size. This I got because it was rainbow. <laughs> So it's Liz Claiborne. It looks like it's one of the. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I added it to that too. And like, yep. It's Very a cool. large, so it's an and looks like a nice size large. Are you gonna keep that? Maybe I'll try it on. Probably. It's so cool! I, I don't really print. wear button-up shirts that much, but it's just a fun like. It is so print. much fun. Yeah. Yeah. That's a great print shirt. Right. Not not a brand I would normally pick up, but the pattern. And the fact that, you know, it's a dollar and it wasn't going to raise my shipping. Um, yeah, that's a great example of a yeah. reason that you would pick up mm -hmm. a little Claiborne. So, yeah. Yeah. So I think we mentioned this last time, but the way Thrift to You works is you have each item you have adds points to your like order score. And then the number of points you have determines how much you pay for shipping. So a lot of the more lightweight items, right. you add them. You kind of want to add them to your cart because they're only a dollar and you're not going to pay more for shipping. And if you're already, you know, ordering a exactly. few items, you might be wasting money on shipping if you don't kind of get up to that the next year points as close as possible. So that was one of those items that I, I you know, I threw in my cart thinking I might remove it. It was sort of on the fence. And then I ended up having wow. room in my box. And then this was the item that unfortunately the item I was most excited about was a pair of Louboutins that they made a big deal about saying like they, they couldn't authenticate them, but we both looked at them and they were like, we were pretty sure they were real. And so I bought them and then they e immediately emailed me and said, I'm so sorry. These were already sold. So now they got double listed. So I was a little heartbroken, but they caught the mistake immediately. They emailed me at like 1 a.m., which... I'm a horrible insomniac, so I happened to be awake, but I was just like, there's no reason you need to be contacting your customers this early in the morning. Like, it's, I would have been fine if it had happened the next day. And they immediately offered to send me another item. So I had been eyeing these shoes, and I didn't get them last minute. Um, so I got these instead when the first shoes were not available. They are Monroe, which is a yeah. really nice... It's sort of like a comfort shoe brand. And they also are known for having a wide variety of sizes, like different widths and stuff. So they have more options than a lot of brands do. And these are just nice, like the mules are still in the like 80s. Yeah, the style. style. And they're 10s too, right? So they're a good size. And they're a really nice size. Yeah, I think they're 10s. I don't remember. I'll have to look at them a little bit more closely. I remember seeing them like when, when you got yeah. them. That's why. Yeah. like Yeah. Um, and they're just, I mean, I've had shoes from this brand before because I have wide feet. So it is nice to have shoes that are made for your feet and they last forever. They're just such good condition or in such good quality. So, yeah. So what do you think you'll uh, sell them for? I looked them up before I bought them and I think I saw them similar ones listed for like 30, or sorry, 40 to 50. So I think, um, yeah, you should, I think you'll, I think I'd be happy with like 40. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. You'll get at least 30 for them. Or at least so and then another pair of shoes that I uh, you know, this is sort of the nice thing about sourcing online is you can see something catches your eye and actually take time to look up comps before you buy it so these are just flip-flops they're in pretty good condition they do have a little bit of like minor kind of discoloration on the um the heel but I, I can't imagine that's going yeah to be no a no problem especially because the soles are like basically yeah. un unworn. What's the brand on those? The brand is called Ocean Minded. Oh, okay. And I never heard of it before, but they look like they were selling for thirty to forty-five dollars. Yeah, it sounds like one of those nice, like surf kind of. Yeah, and they're. I mean, yeah. it's real leather, so they're a little bit nice. nicer than your usual flip flops. And then they have like the wedge heel, so out of season now, but um, but. They're they not out of them. season to, if you saw them on eBay, I, to right, be someone I, who is on in a different place in the world. So Exactly. Or even someone in Florida who that's true too. enjoying warmer weather longer than we are. Yeah. And then do a few more items. This is my last clothing item. It The brand is Quai Petites. I think you were looking at this dress too. But yes, I was. It was new with tags and it well, it's mm -hmm. new it's new old stock with tags. Yeah. Yeah. 
That was gorgeous. Is it a linen? Is it a linen blend or is it cotton? I think it's a linen blend. Okay. It's really pretty. It like linen. If anything, it's the texture. So oh, it's acetate and rayon. So it is. Oh, linen. okay, okay. It's so that's really well. So what? Um, eBay and Etsy, I would think that would. Yeah, I might put it on Depop. It's very okay. um, like yeah. cottage core. Yeah, that's good. A, yeah, a term that we were talking about doing a whole episode on because that's really big right now, and it's just that like very kind of quaint, like you might imagine wearing this in Little House on the Prairie. Yeah, I love it. I think it's a great dress. Yeah. So, so yeah, and then it does it does have all the original tags, which is bonus. bonus. Yeah, added bonus that that bumps the price up right there. So compare it says compare at seventy dollars, our price twenty nine ninety nine, and then it was it was marked down a few times. But yeah, it's definitely a, a nice dress and, ha, ha, you know, hits all those like in style, great condition. Oh yeah, it's great. Great length and all. I love it. Yeah. That was a good, good pick. Okay. Back to yep. you. Okay. So I got, I ended up, so there was an, a rack uh, that was going out and they were really, actually they were really kind of, um, you they did not want people shopping from the racks as they, mm -hmm. but they were just sitting there. Like no one was attending. It was, you know, like going to go out. It was out on the floor, but I mean, they were going to, but nobody was like standing there putting them, but I was shopping from it. And one of the employees came over to me and she was like, you can't do that. You can't like, if it's not out on the rack uh, on the, yeah. So they, which I thought was, was, was a little annoying. Cause it wasn't like I was battling someone that was putting yeah. the clothes out. It was just sitting there like, making their jobs harder, but yeah so um but anyway but i did grab these off of there so and these were only marked like 2.99 3.99 i think so again like i found some good so these are vintage men shirts this is a really cool print it's can you see the print it's birds Amazing. it's 80s the Love brand it. is peninsula wow so, everything yeah, about so that I, tag is so like early 90s yeah, I think it's like eight late eighties or like yeah, it's so yeah. So um, it's a tiny bit of fading. Uh, there is like one little spot, but it looks like it's like kind of like a surface thing. See, scene. So I think I am gonna just throw it in the wash with OxyClean, but it's mm -hmm. it's in great shape. So I'm hoping to get you know maybe thirty bucks for this one. And I would then, put it on Depop and use the keyword vaporwave. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, so. Um, this one was right next to it. So I'm, I'm going to assume that it was the same donor. And this is another one that is just this awesome print. So is how cool is that? So I will show you, I actually have a close up here so you can see the print a little better. Um, let me find it. Um, oh geez, I have it here. Here it is. Okay. So you can see it a little better. So how cool. And there's the tag. The brand is Repage. So this brand, I looked up the brand and I actually found that there's kind of a holy grail in this brand that is a Tarzan shirt that even there was a boys one listed for like a hundred bucks. Wow. So even like, and then, yeah, it was like a boys extra large or something. But all of them in that Tarzan pattern, there's a boys and then there's an actual button down Tarzan print um, and that which is men's and that they all go for like over 100 bucks. I think the one was like 200 bucks or something. So if you ever find the Tarzan shirt in this brand, which this is not um, <laughs> grab it. But so I inadvertently found that bolo while I was. But this one should still do pretty well. I'm actually gonna try to get like 50 bucks for it, but I, I'm, I'll be happy with you know. Oh yeah, I mean, if less. there's a holy grail like that in this brand, and this one, it's not the same yeah. pattern, but it has some of the same kind of like aesthetic to it. I definitely list it high. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So, um, yeah, so definitely. Do you have more to show, Lila? I have a few more pieces, but uh, it's all jewelry. Is it all me? So not, there, yeah, it's mostly you. I would, I would. Okay, well, more. I guess you want me to keep going because I have yeah, yeah, like a few going. more here. All right, so yeah, so um, because I still have a pile here. So all right, so this is from Shop Goodwill. So I won a couple pairs of Eileen Fisher pants. So these are the pants here. 
they're just cotton, but the the reason I got them, and they are petite, which I didn't realize when I bit, but I, mm -hmm. I got them for like four ninety nine. I won the auction for yeah. so. And they're new with tags. Um, the, they they are, are. They're new with tags. They're a small petite, but they're organic cotton too. And you can see the price tag on there is one thirty four. So I figured um, these should still do pretty well for me. I'll definitely make a make a decent profit and there are tiny buyers and I'm sure there's people that are looking for these particular Eileen pants. So, um, and then I have, so this is actually, it's not going to do as well as I thought, but I only paid $2.99 for it again. So men's again, it was at that thrift store and it's a Jersey and it's, um, it's vintage for sure. It's like nineties, I think. Um, and it's a double X L and it said, it says Harlem on the back. Um, That's really it's, cool. It's a really cool Jersey. So I can't find this exact one. So I might list mine for a little more than the comps, but here's the comps that I found. So um, these, and these are not sold. I could not find, I found one sold, but it was a tank top style and it went for like 20 bucks, which wasn't a lot. But people don't really have them listed at, mm -hmm. um, they're like 20. Now there's this one, but this one is like a different, you know, it's like $69.99, but it's a whole different kind of thing. So I'm not sure. I can't find this exact one. So I might try Depop on it. I was thinking. And I might, just put it up, I might just put it up for a higher price and see what happens. It is a larger size. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. And then... Um, this you're gonna love Lola. So this is eight, straight up 80s. Oh my gosh. You is that a print? list plate one? No, it's not. It's um so the brand is oops too. Oh, okay. So oh but it's got like um it's like people. It's so cute. Yeah, and the buttons, I love the buttons because they're triangles. Can you see mm -hmm. the yeah triangle buttons on it? It's such a great vibrant colors too, like that. Yeah, so I actually movement. saw this as I was checking out, like it caught my eye. Somebody had put it back on one of the ends. Mm -hmm. And again, it was like $3.99. So they missed like all the, it seemed like the vintage stuff. Yeah. We don't mark up. It's like all the brand names, like anything Lily Pulitzer, anything new with tags, like that kind of thing gets marked like ridiculously high. So there is... Like the moral of the story is if you go into a store like that, you know, you, you still can find stuff for, mm -hmm. so. And some of that, if you see other high-end brands, some of those vintage pieces might also be quite high-end, just not brand names that people know, you know, nowadays. Or yes, not familiar with exactly. Now. Yep, for sure. It's a great sign that you can find those hidden gems. Absolutely. So the rest of my items are a bunch of, uh, vintage like 80s jewelry and I am planning to lot some of these up I think and then put them as a lot on Depop or Etsy um, especially some of I've got like a bunch of different chains and it's really popular right now to wear them in like layered um, collections of like necklaces so I was thinking that I could put those you know groupings together and um sort of do the work oh, yeah. and wear them like that. So this one's a really nice, like I mean, these are not high end pieces of jewelry. I'm sure that they're not real gold or even plated, but like I, I will check just in case. And I don't think it really matters because it's like, it's about the the look, the aesthetic. Um, absolutely. I love it. Yeah. That's super cute. Um, oh my gosh. Leopard pin. I love it. That great. Yeah. This one, I think. Where were these all from? These, these are all from Thrift to You. And oh, they are, okay. They, have, they do have some nice, they do have a lot of jewelry and you really have to go through it because their pictures are, um, not that they're bad pictures, but like, you know, they don't take a lot of close-ups. They're just trying to shoot it to sell it, you know? So you really have to go through and look at what, oh. I love this. Like I like it. Yeah, I love those big links. Yeah. I will, I'm tempted to keep this. I might end up keeping it because now that I look at it on here, you know, in person, there is some wear on, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, on the clasp. It's not, like, it's not going to be noticeable if you're wearing it because it would be on the back of your neck. But it would be, you know, it takes some of the value off for reselling it. So, because I'm tempted to keep that one. I, might I like it. I think you should, yeah. And then a couple pairs of earrings. Some of these are um, 
are signs. This one's like Monet. I think I might have two pairs of earrings from Monet. So they're uh, very 80s. Ooh. They're not pierced ears, which is, you know, can appeal to some people. They're not as comfortable, but. You know, I can wear, yeah, I, I can wear um, clips. Yeah. That doesn't bother me. And then another pair, another pair of Monet. So I think I got both of these thinking I would do a lot of both. Okay, yeah. Because they're quite similar. They're just the chunky. Oh, they're awesome. And those are kind of in right um, now, too. Yeah, the 80s, 80s yeah. Uh, chunky jewelry is oh, yeah. definitely popular right now. I have to run to the bathroom because I've been drinking. I've been trying to drink. Oh, all go, go. Okay. They I told me to drink 32 more. ounces of water, so I'm like, sorry. Okay. I'll be right back. And then another another uh, necklace. So this is definitely one I was hoping would kind of pair nicely together with that one. It's good to have different lengths is sort of what people are looking for. So I think those will work. And then it does look like this one's quite tarnished. So I will have to do a little research on the best way to clean the, um, I'm guessing it's like brass jewelry and give that a shot, but it's vintage. So even a little bit of um, a little bit of tarnishing, I think, won't be a deal breaker, but I do want it to look, you know, as presentable as possible. And then these are so cool. Another piece that I will be tempted to keep. Another pair of clip-on earrings. I don't think these have a brand or any information on them. And they're definitely not, like, high-end metals either. But they have, like, such a cool boho vibe. And, you know. I might have to try them on. <laughs> Heather says, I'm surprised she lasted this long. Yeah, Nadine is a trooper. And then, nope, okay. So that is everything I've got. And Nadine's I'm back. back so. Okay. <laughs> Good timing. I just heard you. Like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so then this one too was... Um, had a like a signature on it. So I don't know what what this is. It's just a large T. So I'll have to do some digging, um, and make sure it's not you know one of those collectible uh, costume jewelry pieces. If it is, yeah. Really hard, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They they tell me to drink 32 ounces of water to flush out all that dye and the radioactive whatever they. So and I'm like. <laughs> So I'm trying to drink all this water, but at least it's getting flushed out. We know that. Uh, um, so this came from Thrift to You as well, but the nice thing is it's a big diaper bag, and I don't usually pick up Vera Bradley, but mm -hmm. it was for a dollar, and it was stained, and it was quite stained. Threw it in the wash with Oxy, and I know that about Vera Bradley, and it all came out. And I think because it's a diaper bag, I think it's I'm pretty sure it's a diaper bag. It's got like all the extra you know, pockets the, and stuff yeah so um i think i can still you know do pretty well with it um and if not i might actually keep this because i do like this this particular pattern this one and the pink elephants or the two prints that i, I kind of like elephants yeah so i do have i have because i have an actual purse in this too and i'm not a big again i'm not a real big Vera bradley fan but sometimes it's worth it so there was a bag on the wall of sunglass cases. And I actually need, for my sunglasses, I need a case. And this is a nice hard shell one. Not like a big brand or anything. Um, my One of my sons is always like throwing his glasses around and all and losing his cases. So I figured I'd give him a case. And the reason I got it, so it was $1.99 for all the cases. This was in it. So this is Tom Ford, a Tom Ford case. So if you don't know, Tom Ford is a high-end designer brand. And so I got basically free cases for myself and my kids because I actually did need them for $1.99. And this will pay for everything else. I'm not going to make a lot on it, but one sold, a similar one sold for $16 on Poshmark recently. And there's one listed that is similar or the same for 15. So I, I know right about what I'll get for this. And I think I will list it on Posh because of the brand, because it'll bring that brand to my closet too. And so a little extra thing for, you know, a little exposure there. And um, 
So I basically, you know, got three free sunglass cases or eyeglass cases and made a little profit there too. So, um, you know, so that's why I picked that up. So I know one time at the optometrist, they gave me a couple extra cases and I had bought a pair of Chanel um, eye, eyeglasses. And so oh. the cases were Chanel and I didn't really need them. So I put them on Poshmark and I did sell them for, I think right around there, like $15. So like, you know, not a ton of money, but I got them for free. Exactly. So that's why like I actually it was something that I actually need. Ooh, Angelique has a good Oh, that's a great little, idea. Yeah. Great. Uh, for let me see. Yeah. 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 They're great for storing small stuff. Hey, that's a good idea. Like earrings and stuff, I would think. And oh, yeah, yeah. Like a travel jewelry case. That's a great idea. Ooh, I like that idea. Yeah. So that that's yeah. So they have all kinds. Of, and these other ones are nice. They're just not like any kind of brand like this one actually says the eye care center from somewhere, you know, but, mm -hmm. but the I knew the Tom Ford would pay for the rest of them and some. So it was something really? so sometimes when you need something, if you can find it in a lot. Um, so I got this from thrift to you. And the reason I got it, it's a, it's a huge shirt. It's like a size three X. So it's actually even, it's like way too big for me, but I got it because it had the best Bet buddies logo on it. And because it was, we just did that episode on Keith Haring and I love Keith Haring's art. So for a dollar, I was getting some other things. So I put this in there too. Oh, that's a better view. Thank you. You're so welcome. it's actually, um, Cute. but it actually had a hole in the armpit that they didn't notice quite a big hole, but it can be fixed. Um, I was That's actually thinking of maybe like turning into a pillowcase or something too. Yeah. Or like, um, there's some tutorials if you go on Pinterest about how to turn them into like a reusable shopping bag. Ooh, that's an idea. I like that. So I was thinking of turning it into something yeah. else. I don't think, you know, I'm going to, I don't think I'm going to sell it. Cause it is like, it just says like some high school, but mm -hmm. I love the Keith Herring art. So they sent me a note and I'm not going to give you the, but he actually wrote me, Jeremy from thrift to you actually wrote me a note put my name on it oh. i apologize about being there an error with one of the items the best buddies uh shirt had a hole in the armpit that was not noticed by your lister we have refunded you and they did they gave me my my money back and um they gave me a code for five dollars off of my next order so i mean that is like top-notch customer service and i know that jeremy said that he will um come on our show as a guest so in the future yeah. so um hopefully we'll have him on but i mean that's just like top-notch customer service there to do that i mean he didn't even like he noticed it and proactive i mean i would have been happy with just the refund but then he also yeah. gave me the well and we so, should and also, I, also say that like he gave us great customer service even before he knew we were going to talk about thrift to you oh yeah show. so this is not just because no this has nothing to do with uh, -uh. so yeah so so um, we, yeah. this was also at that Crazy expensive thrift store. Again, not expensive though. Look at how awesome is this. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. No, okay. So this is straight up 80s, shoulder pads and all. Is it a blazer or like a romper? It is like a one button blazer with like um, a cinched, like elastic waist. Oh, I love it. So it's a petite, but it doesn't really matter. It's not. So it's Karen um, Petite mm -hmm. of Chicago. Made in USA, of course it's all polyester, you know. But how awesome is this? I think this will do amazing on Depop. Yeah, definitely. I'm kind of tempted five. to keep it. It's a little small for me, but I am losing weight, so I mean, it's I'm not petite, but um, I'm kind of tempted to keep it, like kind of hold on to it until, you know, it fits me perfectly. But well, it, I don't I know. The elastic, it has to be kind of forgiving. Oh, it is. It's not like, yeah, I mean, I haven't even tried it on, but I'm just assuming. But yeah, I could see someone that's like super daring wearing that with like a bralette underneath and biker shorts. Ooh, yeah, that's and, like a dress. I don't know. I might try to list it on Depop and see. I think it'll go pretty fast, though. What do you oh, think? Yeah. yeah, for sure. Um, and then this one is another one that I got from Shop Goodwill for like a really low bid. Um, and it's new attacks torrid. So hmm. this will this be well on Poshmark or eBay. Um, and it has like a $40 price tag on, oh yeah, $44.90. So I think I'd be able to get like 30 bucks for this. It's a long, it's it's kind of like um, a duster kind of cardigan sort of kind of thing, you know? Um, yeah, you could, you could wear that, that 
buttoned closed or you could wear it as a layering piece. Exactly. So it's nice and versatile. And then these were from Thrift to You. They're Nautica pants. They're like brand new men's. And again, I think that these might do well on Depop. Yeah, I could do that. Okay, yeah, so they're kind of. And then I have a few more things. I'm not a lot. Sort more, of like norm core. Yeah. So this is, um, I actually have the, I got, first I got the inside part, like the, it's just like a, like a slip, a long maxi, like slip kind of thing. And then I saw this, which is the overcoat kind of, not oh. overcoat, but like the robe kind of thing yeah. um, for it. So, and it's made in USA. Love it. It doesn't have a brand, but it's, see, it's made in USA. So it's definitely like vintage 80s, I would say, 70s, 80s. I would say more. And so I'm going to sell the set. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, I mean, I only paid two bucks for it because, you know, it was from Thrift to You. So, um, so I have the whole set now. So I'm going to sell the set together for you know, maybe like 40 bucks or so. I don't know. And then these also Thrift to You. They're long. They're women's smalls, but they're one piece. Oh, my gosh. Is it like Damn a big these yeah oh my God. they don't have the feet they're like oh, um, okay but still but still it's like a union suit yeah so, so those cool. will do well because those those always do good for me and then um okay these are from shop goodwill carl lago carl lagerfeld oh wow yeah and i did not pay much for these at all i won the bid for like 16.99 or something so i should I'm hoping to get like 80 to 100 for these. Yeah, yeah they're really pretty. So, ooh, my cat got to it. No, no. Oh, shoot. My cat must have gotten to it. Well, how bad not? is it? Is it like, it feels, is, oh, no. Oh, yeah. My God, it's so painful. Well, I might be able to buff it out a little, but I'll have to disclose that. That's At least it's on the inside, right? So it's not as noticeable. Didn't go. No, it didn't go through. It's on. Yeah, it's on. No, it's on the outside. Oh, no. I just realized that, that my cat must have. I had these. Um, I had them. See, I can't leave things sitting around. Darn. Yep, one of the cats got it. That's a shame. That's so painful. And it's like buttery leather, too. No, right. Of course, it's going to show up. The scratch is even worse. Yeah, Angelique has a good idea. Sell the other by itself. Which now I'll still try to sell them as a, I'll just have to disclose it now. Darn cat. My cat did it. Yeah. I mean, I could also see someone um having a pair of those with the heel that's damaged and wanting to like fix the heel or something. You know. I can't believe my cat. I just noticed it too, like now. That's from my cat. Well, they were beautiful Carol Lager Lagerfeld. Um, and um, this was from one of the, this was my next blue box purse. It's June. Oh, that's beautiful. I love and it. And my cat did scratch it a little too on the end, but it's not bad. Like it's hardly noticeable. I have to not leave. I have to stop like leaving. I have to put my inventory in tubs because if I leave it out, the cats get it. I, I should be better about that, too. They're not as bad at scratching, but they do like to sleep on stuff. And then I have to spend forever getting all of the... Yeah, I'm really, I'm really out. Really that, too, but um, it's life. Okay, this is also from Thrift to You. Vests are kind of in right now, I think. Mm -hmm. That's a great Depop item. Yeah, exactly. So, um, And then I'm saving the best for last. I'm dying to know because I know you said that there was a big surprise. Yeah, there is. So I'm saving that for last. No this idea. is Hannah Anderson, but it's men's. This is also from that thrift store, but it was like $4.99. No bottoms, but it's like crispy, almost like new, you know. So that should do pretty well. Especially uh, coming up on Christmas if people are trying to do like family PJs. Yep. I wish Jason was in the chat today, um, but this is Until We Meet Again, the musical that brings people together. I'm not sure can't find it anywhere it's it's either a really it's either a dud cd or a good one i only paid 99 cents for it though it's sealed so i don't know um and then these are also thrift to you they're south pole jeans these this is a good depop item they're not Ooh. yeah they're urban wear 
And they did have, they do have some staining on them, but that's not like the end of the world. I did get some of it out with Oxy. I think some of it's like paint or something. But again, like, you know, that kind of thing is forgivable with, so. Yeah, because um, the people want their jeans to look kind of broken. Yeah. And then this came today. One more. These are actually, um, I'm opening them for the first time. From Shop Goodwill. Oh, you did show me these, I think. Okay. Well, yeah, these are Tory Burch flats. Uh, they're size seven and a half. So if anyone in the chat so is in. amazing size. And they're quilted. Oh my gosh. Uh, the, so the quilting is in with purses right now. So I can see it being like a thing with shoes too. Um, outsoles are pitted, but that's pretty typical of leather outsoles. So yeah, I don't think they're that's pretty, a at all. Yeah, they're pretty decent condition. Oh, there are seven. They're marked. Yeah, they're seven, size seven. So still a good size. Like, yeah. Know. So, um, and then here are my two last items. Um, so I grabbed these on thrift to you. I saw them, like I was working one night late and they happen to be listing when they're listing is when you have to grab stuff. Um, so is there a way to know when they're listing or is yeah, it just like the, if you see things coming, like, you okay. know, like, but being they don't added, like you can actually see them being added. So I knew they were listing. So I was yeah. kind of waiting and I just scooped these right up. Um, so this first one is called the brand is do for Fratelli, which is an Italian brand. It is vintage. It's a basket weave kind of, it's all leather, patent leather. I better keep this away from my cats. <laughs> um, and you can see the inside is actually leather as well. Here is what the oh, tag wow. looks like. Cool. And you can see these bags. I have some comps up. These bags. Um, is it? Oh, what do I? There you go. Okay. So these bags are, this is Etsy. It actually, they seem to do better on Etsy. So there's one that's that's listed for 90. These are all listed, not sold. But mm -hmm. um, you can see they run the gamut from like 90 to and this one I think is probably listed low, like in the 30s, 40s, 60s. So I'm going to try to list this high. Um, it does look like they do well on Etsy. Here is, they don't look like they do as well on eBay. So you can see some of the solds, 42, 34, 99, 20, 21. Um, so I think I'm actually going to, this is, because some I have some good um, Etsy pieces. I think I'm going to start, you know, I do have an Etsy store. I just haven't listed there. So I think this is a good Etsy bag. What do you think, Lula? Yeah, I definitely have more and more items that I keep thinking I should put this on Etsy. So yeah. And my last item is drum roll. This is the item that I was actually talking about in the little, in the, um, Teaser. So this is Christian Lacroix. Lacroix. What? Yep. Oh. And it is vintage. It's velvet, is in perfect condition. And as an added bonus, it's got this um, gold, like um, uh, metal. So it is missing a couple of rhinestones, but that's not a killer. Um, the inside is in great condition. You can see Christian Lacroix here. And it does say made in France on the other side. So it's in really good condition. It's definitely vintage. So we talked about Kristen Lacroix a little bit. If you don't know who he is, he actually worked for in our Emilio Pucci uh, uh, episode. I talked about him a little bit because he did actually work for Emilio for Pucci for a little bit in the uh, early to mid 2000s, somewhere around 2004, I think it was. Um, but um, he is still alive. He's a, he's a French designer, very, very well known. And his stuff is very high end. So um, so what kind of ballpark are you thinking for this? So here's the thing. I don't know what to do, Lola. I need, I'm going to need your advice here because um, if I look at the comps, I cannot find this exact bag. Um, and they run all over the place. So this is Etsy. And this is like, um, you know, they're all over 159, um, 80, 180, that's earrings. Um, one is there for 152. I just, uh, they don't seem to do as well on, and I have another link I can pull up. 
I can find it. Uh, so they don't seem to do as well on um, on um, eBay as they do on other sites. Um, I had this awesome, I don't think, I think I might have closed it by accident. Um, so there was this other bag. So there's one particular bag that's by Christian Lacroix and it's got this gold on the handle, but it's like crazy. It's like Baroque or something. I must've closed the darn window. Um, okay. So I can't show it. Um, but it is like insane. And this bag, th that bag goes for like, oh, here it is. Actually, there's one here. So I can, that particular bag goes for like over a thousand dollars. This is not that clearly yeah. this is not that, but it still has some of that um, same. See, this one goes for $1,162, but it still has some of that, like a little bit of that kind of gold. Um, yeah. And it's the know, crafted like gold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's got the velvet. So this is, although this is nothing like it, this is actually the closest one I could find in, you know, in the sense that it's so the, but this, this is not that bad. So this is not going to go for $1,162. I already know that. However, I'm thinking that it might be something that is worth more than the average ones that are selling, you know, that are listed. I can't find this bag. I've looked all over. So I don't know what to do. So I would definitely list it high. And I'm thinking you might want to look on Tradesy if you haven't already. Okay. Yeah. Tradesy, I am always surprised at how high the prices are on items that are like evening wear. Um, they have a big bridal section. So, you know, that okay. might be a beautiful bag for like the mother of the bride or something like that. Yeah. And you might be able to get a better price there or at least just um, sometimes I find comps there for items I can't find anywhere else. So it's worth looking. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, so yeah, I don't know. I, I think that was, and that was a dollar on thrift to you. So wow. there's, yeah. So that website, I mean, it's like a lot of it is, you know, you're going to find a lot of bread and butter items, a lot of stuff like that, but every once in a while they will list things that are really, so you really have to keep your eye out. Um, and I have a couple things coming from them that are also, that I'll show in the future that there's one that looks pretty promising too. Um, so, so that was my, that was my best item. Yeah. I can see how that is hard to beat. <laughs> Yeah, so I was really happy with that. And um, so that's our haul for today. Um, I do have, um, I do have our market report. Yeah, market report. So I have, um, I just, this is getting shipped out today. This um, was also from Thrift to You again, and it was a vintage 80s uh, toddler one piece romper kind of thing. So I paid a dollar. I sold it for 12 plus shipping, but still not a bad turnaround for a kid's yeah. clothing item. And, you know, it was just such a cool print that I kind of had it. It was like an add on item, you know. Um, and then this is a CD that I sold for 10 and it went to Canada. I only paid two dollars for it. It was sealed. So that was a good deal there. And then this I actually just sold today. Um, I was kind of surprised because it was one of those items that I found when I was when I was moving, I don't even remember when we bought it or what for. I don't think we ever used it. It was still, it was still, yeah, it was in the box still. Um, and I sold it. It was listed for a while, but I sold it for twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping. So it's a little audio recorder. So that was like kind of an out, out of the norm one. And then this is a Tahari jacket that it's a blazer that I, I paid. I got it at the bins for 99 cents a pound and I sold it for twenty nine ninety nine plus shipping and I wanted to show you guys that the inside of it oh, wow. had discoloration. So this happens. It, it's kind of like a chemical reaction from deodorant and whatnot. So I did disclose it, full disclosure. And I think this is why it ended up at the bins. But I still sold it for 30 bucks. So that just is so incredible. you know, the lining is not always a deal breaker. I definitely would have probably passed on that at the bins because of the discoloration. So you were braver than I am for sure. And yeah, I, I clearly listed it and I, mm -hmm. I, um, you know, I, I put it in the, in the description, I put photos and they still bought it for 30 bucks. So, Oh yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I mean, when it's on the inside lining, it's not always a deal breaker because, 
And that once you get that clean too, the discoloration stays. It's not like it's like, you know, like yeah. sweat is there or anything. It's just, it's discolored. It's it basically how it like bleached out the fabric. Um, yeah. So, Brian oh. Discounters wanted to know the UPC of your CD that you couldn't oh. find. Oh, okay. Um, I can read it off or put it in the chat, I guess. Put it I'll, in the chat, it's probably easier. I'll put it in the chat, yeah, because it's a long number. Um, so our breaking thrifting news is, um, so starting on October 18th, USPS is going to have a temporary holiday shipping rate increase. So um, this is stamped up. What's that? It's not too bad, it seems like. No, it doesn't seem. I mean, what is it, like $1.50 for Priority? Well, that's Priority Express. So Priority Mail is like $0.40 cents across the board. Regional rate, $0.40. Cents. Flat rate, um, I guess it uh, goes by, yeah, so it's a $0.40 cents increase. And then first class looks like it's about a quarter increase. And these prices are going to be through December 27th. So this is kind of a new thing that they've never done, right? Yeah, I think so. Because usually they just do the increase at the beginning of the year. And yeah. it almost sounds like they're saying it won't be an increase at the beginning of the year because this is ending at the end of the holiday season. So it really yeah. is temporary, which, I mean, that's fair. They, they handle such a huge volume of mail around the holiday season that, you know, it seems like a small price to pay. It, it definitely is. Um, I just put the UPC in the chat and, and he asked to see the cover again. So here is the cover again. So it's sort of musical, but I just don't know. I couldn't find it. So, and I didn't do like a really thorough search. It's Populi, P-O-P-U-L-I looks like record. So it might just be like a dud that no one wants, or it could be something that's, you know, that's good. So I don't know. who is on that original cast recording who really wants a copy. Of it. You never know. So, um, yeah. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about was item specifics are changing. Um, and someone in, I don't know if you saw it, but someone, and I forget who, I'm sorry, um, in, thrif in the thrifting board had suggested that we do um, a whole show on like basic fashion and item specifics, like filling out those item specifics. Oh, that's a great idea. It is a great idea. So I think maybe in the future we'll do that because now, especially now with them changing and a lot of people don't know, like, you know, what the cut of jeans are, what is type, what is, you know, like what, there's so many item specifics, um, even like in the sneakers, it's like pronation, like people don't know what that is. Like, you know, so I think we can help with that. So that is a great idea for totally. an upcoming show. Yeah. And, um, oh, I think I forgot our question. No, I do have a question. So we just want to know if you have any amazing thrift haul items to share with us. Yeah. Let us know in the chat. So in the comments or in the chat and mm -hmm. tell us your stories and where you're thrifting right now, how you're thrifting, if you have any great finds like the amazing purse that um, Nay found on thrift to you <laughs> we love those stories yeah totally share it with us absolutely and we'll be back again as a reminder next week on the 16th at 1 p.m eastern 10 a.m specific with all about athleisure so we'll be talking about that and what to look for and um you can find us all over the place um, we're mostly, I'm mostly thrifty nay. Lola's mostly, well, she's Lola thrifts on Instagram, but run Lola run, um, cold braised dazzling finds on eBay. And we email us at nalo thrifts at gmail.com. If you have an idea for an upcoming show, you want to be a future guest, or if you have an idea for a guest, um, Absolutely. so let us know. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in, guys. It was great to have so many people in the chat at this, you know, little bit of an unusual time for us. So yes, thank really you so much for having you guys stick around with us and it makes our week every week. So thank you. Yes, thank you, everyone. And um, I hope everyone has a great week. Thank you. Bye.